Hello guys, this is Ethan here, and today I will be showing you Phoenix V1 and V2. Um, so, let's get with it. But first, you're probably wondering, how do I get V2 Phoenix? Now, V2 Phoenix is pretty hard to get, as one, you need to have Phoenix, of course, and it's very hard to get, because it's pretty rare. Especially for trading, normally you don't see people trading it. But in order to awaken it, you need to get 400 mastery on Phoenix. You need to go to Whole Cake Island to this certain area. I was there. You want to go to Cake Island. Oh my god, I'm not go. You want to... So as soon as you get here, you go up here. And then you want to go to this. And then you want to go to this one over here that has the flat top. And you want to go behind this. Over here. Once when you find six scientists, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have Phoenix equipped. Even though you already have it at 400 mastery, you still need it equipped. Okay, I'm sorry if there's a dog barking in the background. Alright, you want to talk to him. Um, I already helped him, but what you need to do is you just... He asks you, like, if you can heal him or something. All you have to do is say yes or click the yes button, whatever's there. And then, just like that, you can buy a Phoenix Raid Ship for a thousand fragment. I mean, yeah, a thousand fragments. And then, just like that, you have Phoenix Raids unlocked that easily. That's how to get to the raids and to awaken your fruit. But now, it's time to get to the showcase. All right, I am here. I will be showcasing V2 first. I forgot the... Um, unawaken it with that one NPC. But let's get right into it. So, the first move is Cementation Cannon. Shoot blue, yellow flames at somebody. Next is Blue Flames. It will heal you and your allies, and it does very little damage to enemies. Next, we have Flame Exdosis. I will demonstrate this with an actual NPC this time, as with that one, it sucks. Okay, Flame ex Exdosis. I cannot say these words. Here we go. you into a phoenix and then it changes the moves here's the first one so three i missed sadly uh, the other move is bigger and yes it does damage that actually does more than i thought flame exos i think it's a little bigger and then there's a tap ability just m1 you tap Sends you flying at them. Did I really miss him? Bro, what the heck? Then we have Swift Flight, which you can just send flying through the city. And there we go. That is Phoenix V2 for you. I will show you V1 now. Okay, here I am. I will be now showing you V1 Phoenix. Now first, we have Cannon, which is pretty much like the Awakened version, just smaller. Where the heck? What the? Where was the... Where was, where was the actual shot? Okay. What was that? 
We have re regeneration flames. It heals you and only you and does absolutely no damage. That sucks. Next we have fast kick. Fly towards somebody and then you kick them away. What is up with the cannon? Next we have full transformation. It does not change the moves at all. Cannon. Oh, no, it does change the moves. My bad. Sorry, sorry. Okay, this is where I got mixed up. Cannon seems like a close range. This is now more of a far range, mid range. Now it sends a blue flame towards them. Regeneration flames is bigger. Still does no damage, though. We also have fast kick. It's pretty much the same thing, but you're a big bird. Then we have hybrid flight. Um, which you cannot use while in transformation, but you do fly around. It seems faster than most stuff. I mean, the full transformation. But sadly, V1 does not have a tap move. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Where'd you come from, bro? Am I about to get bouncy hunted in second C? Please. No. He's a rubber user. And a Shackman karate. Oh, um, oh. Skip it up and dial up. Oh, yeah, that's a close range move. Hey guys, just like that, that is the end of today's video. Have a great day. Bye.